We saw it at Mobile World Congress and now it's finally available in the States. What's going on guys? I'm Aaron from PhoneDog.com and the HTC Wildfire S is here on T-Mobile. We saw it at Mobile World Congress as the S and HTC Wildfire of course has been out for some time in Europe. It's a very popular mid-range device from HTC and it's really a nice bridge for those people that are coming from basic phones or even messaging phones and they want to go up and do a, a smartphone for the first time. So it's a decently equipped 600 megahertz device with a 3.2 inch uh, display and a 5 megapixel camera on the back with LED flash. Now is this a device for you or perhaps your mom, perhaps your grandma, something like that, somebody that wants kind of to, you know, wet their feet a little bit in the Android world. We'll find out in the unboxing which starts right now but first, special thanks to our boys over at Best Buy. They're always so good about hooking us up with phones just like this and actually a lot of high-end phones for use on one Paul Bandit game. When you go in, you know one thing I like about Best Buy Mobile? They're impartial. You walk in, you don't hear stuff like well, AT&T sucks or Sprint sucks or Verizon is the best and all the others are the worst. You don't hear that at Best Buy. It's all impartial and that's only at Best Buy Mobile since they sell all of the carriers in, in some stores. Now that, let's get into it. Unboxing HTC Wi-Fi S. Is this a phone for you or perhaps a family member? Let's go check it out. I love doing coverage on phones like this because it shows you that you know even though the high-end phones are awesome, there's still a market for mid-range smartphones. You know, be it somebody that's coming from a low-end phone or perhaps a messaging phone up into a smartphone for the first time, your mom, your grandma, your grandpa, something like that, or perhaps it's for you. You know, you're migrating from the same. You're looking for you know an Android device, maybe first time. You know, in the Android world, and you want something that's not too expensive. Well, the Wildfire S is for you. It's available on T-Mobile. Actually, I believe as of today. Uh, available at T-Mobile and it's available in two colors. It's going to be available in white and a gray color as well. So it's a little bit smaller than what we're used to. It's a 3.2 inch display, 600 megahertz processor, but it has all the goodies. 3.5 millimeter audio jack, 5 megapixel camera with a flash in the back. It has of course the Android market. Uh, it is 3G capable. Bluetooth connectivity. So even though it's a mid-range phone, it doesn't slack and you know not include things like Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. Uh, and it has visual voicemail, things like that. So that's nice. It does come in a little bit of a different box as you can see here. But here's the device. You'll notice it's much, much smaller than uh, you know other devices on the market. I just happen to have the, uh, the Droid Charge beside me. So you can see the size difference. It's very e pocketable, easy to fit in the hand, but it's very small. So people with large hands may not like it. But for those people with small fingers uh, or small hands, females, uh, children, teenagers, things like that, then this may be the device for you. And it comes in some cool colors as well. 5 megapixel camera, like I said, on the back. And it's got a good design to it. It has capacitive buttons down there at the bottom, volume rocker over here micro USB charging port, and this is a white one obviously, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and a power button. Let's take a look really quickly in the back and see what we're packing when it comes to the battery. And I'll go ahead and power this off. Let's see, we have a uh, 1,230 milliamp hour battery. So 1,230 milliamp hour battery, same battery as the Inspire. So you know, hey, if it's a uh, 4.3 inch display phone. If it can power that, which it doesn't really do a good job of powering it because it never makes it through the day. But for something this small with this small of a display, and this uh, kind of mid-range processor, if you will, it should make it through a day easily with, uh, with moderate use. So down here, because this is the white one, you have the AC adapter module with the USB cable. And let's see what you get in here. Start guide, you get a uh, merchandise return label, and then terms and conditions, return policy, and limited warranty. So not you know, a great deal of stuff in the box. You get the typical AC adapter module and the USB cable. So let's take a look at the phone. Let's jump in here. And I believe, uh, I can't cheat right now, I don't have the, uh, the press sheet with me, but I believe it comes with Android 2.3 out of the box and we'll take a look. It does come with uh, a revamped version of Sense. I believe it's Sense 2.1 that comes pre-installed uh, on this phone, if I recall. So we'll take a look here and see. But you'll see it has some of the cool stuff that you've seen on the Sensation, the Evo 3D, some of the higher end phones, like the ability to personalize and change your theme, change wallpapers, and do it all from that one screen. We'll wait for it to load up. Here. And this is one of those places where you can kind of see that it has a 600 megahertz processor, but still, given the fact that it's a mid-range device, it looks good, it has a nice metal front here, so it's proof that, you know, just because it has a mid-range processor and it's kind of a low-end device, you don't have to sacrifice build quality for, uh, for price, so that's pretty cool here. So we can see here, we'll go in here and take a look, and we'll go down here and go to settings, and we'll take a look just to make sure I want to see exactly what build this is running. It's running, uh, let's see here, hardware, software information, there we go. And we'll go in here, uh, it's running Android 2.3.3, so it is running uh, Gingerbread, it's running HTC Sense 2.1, just like I thought, and you can see some of the elements of 2.1, like uh, the ability here, for example, quick settings to change over there, uh, and you can switch back and forth between the tabs, so that's pretty, uh, 
pretty unique. And then over here, like I said, the personalization menu where you can go in here and change the scene. You can change the skin as well. So I can change it from the stock HTC app drawer over to, so let's say, Slate. And if I want to, I can get more by accessing HTC Hub. So it's good that that comes pre-installed. Again, that's something I thought might you know originally come to just the high-end devices. So it's nice to see Hub available on uh, one of the mid-range and you know, low mid-range devices. And it's funny, I actually just got back from Europe. I was on vacation in Italy and Spain. And this thing is incredibly popular overseas. A ton of people uh, that I saw in Italy, some of the people I saw in Spain were walking around with the, uh, with the Wildfire and the Wildfire S. So very, very popular devices. And let's hope that it takes off in the States as well, you know, as a viable option for people migrating up. So 411 and more, you can see here, uh, HTC Hub, like I said, pre-installed so you can download wall additional wallpapers, additional themes, additional skins through HTC Hub and HTCSense.com. You have T-Mobile's My Account, My Device, you have T-Mobile Mall, uh, Visual Voicemail, and then Wi-Fi Calling. So you have Wi-Fi Calling, you can obviously use, as it sounds, uh, you can use your Wi-Fi connection to uh, make phone calls if you're in an area where T-Mobile service is spotty. That's pretty cool. And of course, you have the organizational stuff down here where you can organize your apps by downloaded, the ones that you use frequently, or you can go to all apps and go from there. So we'll see here, we'll go down, and uh, you see Wi-Fi Hotspot, you can use it as a hotspot as well. So it's definitely a feature-packed device Given the price point, like I said, I mean, it's really a, an incredible device. You can see Billy Bob, you know, incredible for the price. You can see Billy Bob here, uh, Old Man McTweedy account synced to it. So you can see, you know, very similar to the higher end Sense devices like the Evo 3D and like the Sensation, but otherwise very, very similar. Let's see how many home screens this has. It has, okay, it has seven home screens. That's cool. And then we'll load up the, uh, the weather here. 96 degrees. That's pretty hot. Pretty, pretty hot. So you can see here, we'll scroll back and forth. So all in all, it's a good device, you know, it's a decent device. It's a nice uh, addition to T-Mobile's lineup. And it's good for those people that are like, well, you know, I only want to spend $69, $79, $99, but I want a decent device. Maybe I don't want a BlackBerry. Maybe I don't want a Windows phone. Maybe I would like an Android device, but I don't want to spend 200 This is a viable option available on the nation's uh, fourth largest wireless carrier. Soon to be at and and if the merger goes through. Much more coverage to come on PhoneDog.com with HTC Wildfire S. So keep it locked on the site. And in the meantime, be sure to like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash phone dog for our greatest tech giveaway ever. We're giving away tablets, tablets galore. Be sure to check it out. Facebook.com slash phone dog. Head over to sweepstakes and enter there. Be sure to uh, follow me on Twitter as well, phone dog underscore Aaron, and on Facebook at facebook.com slash phone dog AB. Thanks for watching. More coverage on this coming soon. We'll see you next time.